Hi, I'm Gilbert Thurston, lead pastor at ExponentialChurch.tv. Thank you for joining us for this video. You know, it's at the very first Christmas that Jesus, the Son of God, was first introduced into the world. As you read throughout Scripture, different people had different reactions the very first time that they encountered them. So join us over the next 12 days from December 24th through January the 4th as we explore 12 different people's stories and how they responded when they first met them. And our prayer is that as you encounter him throughout this holiday season, and as you think about what your new year is going to look like, that you'll respond in similar ways to the people that you're about to hear about. We hope you enjoy today's encounter. Today we wrap up our 12 Days of Christmas series with what is probably the most dramatic encounter that anyone has in the Bible with Jesus. First, a little bit of context. After Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection, he told his followers, look guys, it's better for you if I return back to heaven and send my spirit to come and live inside of you. He also instructed them that they were now to be the ones to take this message of love and forgiveness to the entire world. Now in our day and time, things like the phone and TV and the internet make our world seem pretty small and access to the world is readily accessible. But in Jesus' day, the average person never traveled more than, say, 20 miles or so from their home. So this challenge to take the good news of Jesus to the entire world must have seemed rather daunting. What didn't help Jesus' followers was that some of their fellow Jews were dead set against Christianity. Oftentimes they would beat up and stone and imprison, even kill people who dared to speak the name of Jesus. However, even with this, the disciples did a pretty good job of getting the message out to the surrounding regions. But remember, the message wasn't just to go to the surrounding regions. It was to go worldwide. And so God decided it was time to recruit someone new. Someone with zeal. Someone with passion. Someone like Saul from Tarsus. Just one problem, though. Saul was the biggest opponent to Christianity that was out there. He had arrested and killed more of Jesus' followers than anyone else. Yet God says, there's my man. In Acts chapter 9, you can read of his life-altering encounter with Jesus, where not only does Jesus forgive him of all of his sins, forgive him of all of his past, forgive him of all of his mistakes, but he also gives him the task of getting this message of forgiveness out to the rest of the world. Guess what? Saul did it. Now, you may know him by the new name that he took. That's right, Paul. The Apostle Paul. The great missionary. The writer of 13 books of the New Testament. That Paul. Yes, he was once a murderer. But God used him and, and forgave him. and Ultimately, Paul changed the world. So today, no matter what you've done, no matter how bad your past has been, not only will God forgive you of all of your sins, but if you'll ask him, he'll also give you a brand new purpose in life, a purpose that might just change the world. You know, I really hope you've enjoyed these videos the past 12 days and that perhaps you'll consider joining us tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. in the Regal Cinemas in Harrisburg as we begin a brand new series called Don't Waste Your Life. Take a look at this video for a little preview of what's to come.